once. <laughs> but uh, probably not very good into mid Vagar. As Ari, a mainstay here for Faker, especially last year. He is going to be bringing it out once again. Ari, uh, Zinzao, obviously very straightforward, uh, 2v2, really strong, can set up for one another very, very well. Speaking of which, Canyon looks like he is going to go for a back. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, here comes T1 once again, setting up for a four-man dive potentially, looking for the hook first. He is going to land it straight onto the Zaya, and down he goes. First blood, handed over to Faker. And that is a best so case. So that helps a little bit, um, but not a lot. Owner is a little bit low. Showmaker's just farming up. Owner. Here we go again. Miss on the Sonic Weave. As over the wall comes Faker looking to go on to Canyon here, it looks like. As flash out of Canyon. But look at Showmaker. He is going to get the kill onto Owner, but the roam from the bottom lane comes in. That will be a kill, but Faker looking to go down here. The damage will turn in as Canyon is given over to Guma now as a trade from the bottom lane is happening here in mid. And the chase will continue. I'm going to take control of the river here. Yeah. Uh, Faker picking up Exhaust as the hook and a lance here onto the Rakan. Ignite in as they back away and Kellen goes straight into a charm. As the ear is the Exhaust. Owner, though, has the Crescent Guard, but still inside of it is going to get taken out. Showmaker and Death extremely low, but Faker has to go into a stopwatch and will actually elect to flash in the face of three members of DK who will at the end of the day, looking to get in there, but uh, yeah, they're just disengaging. So T1, they just deny this cannon, which he will be able to do. Very nicely done. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a gold toggle. It's blue buff. It's, um, very sad. Yeah. Barring a flank, they can run into some issues as uh, cannon goes in. <laughs> Pretty confusing angle. See that owner is right there, so Kenny just kind of kicks him away as uh -oh, over the wall they go. That's one way to catch the Jinx as immediately Showmaker just presses R and the gameplay is there. As the Crescent Guard not really going to help owner, but the Lantern will. Very nicely placed but to both teams as uh, let's see who does pick it up here, owner. Kind of in a awkward spot and I think they're just going to give it away as owner fortunately going to get hit by the... But once you do finish it, yeah. Um, Still insane is... Oh, gonna hit the hook here on the Kellen as he's just got a target on his back right now as looks like he might survive. Another hook comes in as Karia just will not miss these today. Depth with no Feather Storm is gonna get Kuma excited as he takes down the kill. A charm gonna hit onto Canyon as T1 take a couple of kills and gets what's next. It's the T1 battle. Max. As it turns out, um, with more hooks, Karia just keeps keeps hitting him He's just as much. Now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... Yep. <laughs> Karia, as always, making the calls while hitting every hook. He's pretty good at this game. And now T1 doing what they do best. Snowballing their lead, getting the... For D+, they still have that zone deny that we were talking about, but look how far Deft is behind the curve. This is... Uh, mid, guys. Kana's yeah, just pushing like bot, and they're like, you know what? <laughs> they're gonna take mid tower anyway. Let's just get... I just haven't seen him in this game yet. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say is, Kellen goes in, the lantern is there on the Goomba, but the cage is gonna lock him down! And immediately he goes down and Zeus is here now, but immediately Kana gonna take him out. That's that uh, counter pick you're seeing now, but the damage might just be too big. The wall is too heavy for the side of T1 as they're getting into that back line as deep as you possibly can. Kana not tanking enough. And guys, that's the end of the game. T1 just aced them in mid, and they will push for the victory. That's going to be it, and even with a perfect execution on Guma Yushi there, doesn't have flash, can't get out, it doesn't matter. They escort Cannon out of the fight immediately, doesn't matter, right? <laughs> the lead is too big, everyone on T1 is too fat, so even with taking down Guma Yushi, it's not even close to enough, and yep. D+. Plus. Oh boy, insult to injury at this point as another hook, this time onto the Zaya. As down goes the Nexus, a 26 minute game to start off this series. T1 taking this one very seriously.